Hello guys and today I'm here to show you how to put a multi-choice quiz onto Microsoft Excel 2007. Okay. So first thing you want to do is obviously you may have this open already but I do not. So if I have that open as quiz. Okay so then I put question one like that. Because obviously then for this it can be indicated. So if I put in merge and I put answers here and then because I'm only doing two but you can have you know as many as you want okay, like that and color them so people actually know where you want them to be put have it like this as well so that you can put question one and question two okay, question one question two like that so that is all sorted and as well I'm going to have it input name for both like that yeah and then just put a bit of a box around it so they know okay then so if I put in what is the Queen's name then put like that merge so I'm going to do three options so I'm going to put one as Julie next one will be her actual name Il is Abeth and then the next one will be I'll put Karen like that okay and then for this you have to put in the code that I did in the previous video which was like a yes or no so this is pretty much the same but this actually now includes like words as well so it associates it so if I put equals if um, bracket n4 oh no not n4 sorry do k5 no not k5 k4 and then put equals Elizabeth Elizabeth like that but like that correct so obviously then that means that if this anything along these lines so it may, they may not put a capital E and so obviously it will, will then know like it will it goes for the whole word instead of just like the number okay then try it again obviously as I said before it is customizable you don't have to put correct or try again you can put like well done or you know anything like that so you have this so obviously I'm going to put in Julie and obviously that is going to be wrong if I put in Karen that is going to be wrong as well and then if I put in Elizabeth it will be correct because obviously then from that it actually tests for if in K4 it will test in K4 if there is actually Elizabeth because obviously you can do it with no caps so just all lowercase or all uppercase so yeah okay let's do question two question two like that and then do what is Shakespeare's first name okay because obviously you can have this on di on different subjects because obviously then pretty much the answer will be here in this section because obviously if it is correct it will go to so if this is sensed so if it's tested that it is in there it will say what is in here and obviously if there's anything that is not this we'll go to the try again okay so if the value is true like it says there it will be Elizabeth is the value which will be correct and then the try again will obviously be because it obviously it is Elizabeth so then every, anything else besides that is incorrect okay
Okay, so now after that, it will be if I put one, and then I put Chris, two, William, and then for the next one, it will be John. Okay, so it will be the same. You could copy and paste this, but I prefer to just write it out again. Because obviously then with the, you'd have obviously have to change where it's checking for. Because obviously then if you were to have it for the same, it would be checking the previous answer section. Okay. So obviously put K5 like that. And then put equals like that. William that then correct and then put try it again like that so if I put in Chris try again John try again William correct okay so thanks for Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.